good morning everybody we're back on site again and uh starting to sort out this uh secret window which the bricklayers beforehand had bricked up naughty bricklayers so what we're going to try and do now is cut some of the brickwork down ease the window out and uh replace it with some brickwork. The bonding's all wrong on this, but we'll do the best we can. Yeah, they should have done it properly in the first place. They just cut bricks around it. They literally cut the bricks to 40 mil. There was just some straight, straight bonded bricks in there. So I thought, that's all right, I'll just cut them out and replace them too with it. And I'll start cutting out and this is what I get. But you never know what's behind the walls. You know, it's, it is what it is. So we're gonna take the soldiers out, take these out, take these out, take these out and build it in and make it look a bit better. Right, so it's all cut out, but this side of the, I kept all of that reveal intact all the way down and then chopped the bottom brick out. But the problem was all of the bricks were like angled up by about 20 mil. So I was going to leave it and then just run it in, but it just looked terrible. So I've decided to take even more out. Every time I cut a brick, another one broke. So it's the best we're going to get. So we're going to start building it up and do the last couple of little bits. Yeah, sometimes just I didn't... You can't anticipate. Yeah, I couldn't anticipate that the window was going to be behind it. No, nobody knows that, only the last person who had the house. So it is what it is. Some jobs go extremely well, some jobs don't. But a price is a price, you have to stick to it. You can't get the ump and you can't, like I was going to leave that reveal in and that would have just looked absolutely awful. So Can't get the ump, can't get a breakfast, <laughs> can't afford a breakfast now. I might have to pay for it. No, we got paid from YouTube today. Really? Pay from YouTube today, so oh, you could. No, a, would I'll you have... want a fillet steak or? No, 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 no. Instead of having the small breakfast, I'll have the large one and I'll have two lots of black pudding. No, we did get paid from YouTube today. Well, Do we tell them how much? No. Thirty-six pound fifty each. We got. If you can guess it. No, 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 no. Because I'm not doing any more posting at the moment. I'm busy. All right then. Perhaps I can guess. Go on then. Uh, £348.92p. No. Nah. Do you want that as your share of your, um... Well, no, I'd, I'd like, uh, just a, oh, the double, I mean, that's, you know, I'll have 50 quid and a breakfast for the rest of the month. Now, nah, well, yeah, we didn't do too bad, so we're going to get that bricked up. And, uh, got a couple of tiny little bits where this black sack is. Yeah. Nothing major. Oh, there we go. But again, I didn't get until half eight today. We're on winter hours now. Like normally, we're eight till three. At the moment, we're like half eight, nine That's till. The fact I was a bit slow getting his pancakes ready this morning. So. Pancakes. Right, well, we'll just crack on with this. Right. We just I've just plumbed this up. Yeah. And we're as you can see. So if you can see the bubble. She's well out, so I shall build this plum and then just range it through. There's nothing I can do for that. If you look at even that, that is out by about 10 mils. So you just have to range it through. Sometimes when you're building stuff like this, you can only go to the original unless you're going to take the whole thing down. Yeah, it's not course, a new yeah. extension. So. I quite agree, yeah. Do you want me? Morning. Yeah, cutting these bricks out reminds me of oh, many years ago. Builder that I didn't really know him, but I knew he was a builder. Asked me if I could spare him a couple of days. So I spoke to the chap I was working for and he said, yeah, not a problem. So I had a couple of days. It was a job in Windsor. It was a beautiful old three-story building, Victorian, gazed arches and everything. Anyway. My job was to go there, any bad bricks that I thought needed cutting out, just to cut them out and replace them. Anyway, off I goes the following day. Uh, Windsor was only a 
20 minutes away where I lived in Burn Village. And I got on site, got on the scaffolding, and there was another brick layer there. Anyway, so as you do, how you do, I made all that old palaver. And we just got chatting, like. And uh, he said, he showed me what he'd done. He said, what do you reckon? I said, well, you know, they're a bit tippy. Anyway, nothing to do with me. Anyway, but I noticed that he'd done a gazed arch. And in the gazed arch, you'd be 26 bricks. But he only used 25. Because it was easier. Anyway. S explained to me that, you know, he wasn't really a proper bricklayer. But uh, he he'd been on site and he thought this making good, or whatever he called it, would be easier. Which it isn't, obviously. Anyway. The bill, and he said he hasn't met the builder, he just spoke to him on the phone. Anyway, the following day, the builders turned up. And I noticed, anyway, when I first pulled up on the site, there was two stacks of bricks, some really good Victorian bricks, and some seconds. And he's usually wrong ones. Anyway, the builder comes up, and he starts shouting and screaming at this uh, bricklayer, and then he turned around and started screaming at me. I just uh, put my tools in my bag and went home. Anyway, next thing you know, well, about an hour later, the builders come round, calling me all the names under the sun, and said that I told this bricklayer what bricks to use. Anyway, I put him straight, straight away and I asked him to leave my premises before things got out of hand. Anyway, he went, uh, I suppose about half past five, quarter to six. Uh, he's come out this evening and apologised. He said, I realised that you couldn't have done it because this, that and the other. Anyway, he said, will you go back there in the morning? I said, well, I'll, I'll think about it, but I don't think so. He said, well, better give you a couple of quid more. And that persuaded me. And I went there. I spent about four weeks there. The old builder didn't turn out. Not a bad bloke, actually. But like most of them, they want it all done for nothing. And the bricklayer that was working there was just laid off. And that was it. Mm. All right, she's all done. We're just doing the... Last couple of bricks up there. And that will be the end of this job. And we've got a repoint starting on Monday, I think. What have we got Monday? Repoint. Repoint. Right, should we get tidied up? I'm going to go and get some lunch. Okay, then, yeah. And then we'll uh, come back, finish off them last few bits and go, yeah? Pretty good idea, yeah. Right, my last little bit's all in. I've just got to wait for it to uh, go off before I can point it. What you got there? This is a particular type of flatten that was used when I was a young man. It was used for the inside brickwork, yep. crack walls and... So instead of walls. block work, your internal walls? Yeah, and it's got a particular shape to it. Right. If anybody can tell me what this is called... There we go. What this Show us the other side. This particular flatten is called, it's flat that side, all I want to know is the name of it, and we will send you a T-shirt. Right, the only T-shirt we've got available at the moment is extra large. So the first person in the comments to tell me why this brick has got them little voids in it on the back. Okay, that's all we want to know. Why are they there? And the first person that I can see will win. All you have to do is send me your address and I'll post it. I've got an email and a phone number on the page. All right? Fine. Right, so that's the end of the video today. We're um, pretty much done. We're going to tidy up and uh, get the old invoice in. Next video should be Monday evening or Tuesday.